Welcome to the uh, scientific writing class at the Humboldt University of Berlin. My name is Julia Boyka and I will give you now a quick introduction of myself, of Inge Grünberg and about the class content and how this is organized. So a brief introduction about myself. I am an Arctic researcher. I work at the Alfred Wigner Institute at Potsdam. I'm also a professor at the Humboldt University and my expertise is permafrost atmosphere exchange and feedbacks and you see me here in the background working in the mud in the Arctic. So here's our study site in Svalbard, here's our study sites in Siberia and this is my, my, my science expertise but this class I will teach about uh, um, science writing as well as my colleague Inge Grünberg, she will be teaching as well as part of this class. Her scientific background is as well permafrost, specifically interaction of vegetation, snow and permafrost using field measurements and airborne data. And um, she, Inge is a postdoc at AVI. And in the background you see another study site where we do field research. This is in the Canadian Arctic in the Mackenzie area. How is this class organized? First of all, we have online lectures, asynchronous lectures. This is the first one. These are essential for the class and you will have to watch them because they provide you with the content. Then we have homework, we have Moodle exercises, we have the contact time. So this is the time when we actually meet either online or present. And all of this, including your own activity, will be part of this house which will you, will you give you the skills to write and also produce the final paper which is asked for in this class. So the class units, as you have seen just in the pictures before, are these asynchronous lectures, our homework, our exercises and puzzles, for example, our quizzes, multiple choices, brief texts that you can do in class or at home. Then there's assignments and the final paper and there's the contact time. So during the contact time we have time to do exercises together but also to answer questions and answers. And our exchange platform is the Moodle. Here's a, a brief outline how the class is structured. So there are seven sessions and each content of the sessions you can see here. So it starts with getting started, reading paper frame and research frame, uh, about paragraph structure, section two, paper structure, session number three, then visualize your data. This session will be done by Inge. Style and grammar, academic quality assurance review process. So in that session we will talk intensively what a reviewer will do, what the author will do and what the editor will have to do. So to understand the review process. And in the final session we wrap up and talk about time and process management. Why is scientific writing so important? Because writing reports for your course assignment, for your thesis or so on, of course. But also it has some other very important um, benefits. And that is because it clarifies your thoughts and highlights and it also identifies problems with your logic. For example, you had a great story that you thought about for your master's thing, but once you've written it down in a short abstract or in a paper frame, then you identify that it's not quite what you thought it was, so you have to correct it. Writing also allows you to distribute your work to others and get feedback. So especially with your supervisors, with your colleagues, you need to get it written down and then you can work on it cooperatively and get feedback. So science writing is important because it's about lifelong learning and discovering. A scientific career is about sharing your knowledge and discoveries and telling your story. If you don't get it out on paper, it's basically lost. And these are two quotes of two uh, famous people and also we use their material, their writing classes or books in this class. So one is only writing makes what you have learned part of human knowledge. The second one is by an Arctic microbiologist, Josh Schiemel. As a scientist, you are a professional writer. Even if you do not want to be a scientist, you still need to learn the skills how to write. Because writing is part of many jobs, for example, in industry and agency, write progress and technical reports. Then in NGOs, or you write legal opinions and statements. In enterprises, instructions, manuals, sales brochures, 
or in science communication and, out and outreach. So everywhere basically you have to write and this way, if, even if you don't want to be a scientist, you have to learn how to write. Some background again about writing. So most scientist people find writing hard. There's only a few exceptions of people who love writing and just produce a lot of text. But most of us find it hard, including myself. I have to, I have to admit, I find it hard to write, but it's a skill and something you can learn. And you can only learn it by exercising. Thus, we have included a lot of um, exercises in this class. I'll tell you about my writing skills as a student. When I was a master's student in Canada, basically, and we never had these classes before, and um, I was asked to submit a paper, a very small paper, as a result of a student conference. So you can see here, this was the student conference, and the paper came out here. Well, at this beginning stage of a master, I had no idea about writing. I didn't know how much time it would take. I had no details about how to list the authors. This was a big problem in the end, how to list these authors. I didn't know how important the abstract would be. So I'm very glad that we can offer this class to you now because you will learn these um, important information that you have to design a paper but also in terms of timing, how much it will take uh, to produce output in terms of a master's thesis or a paper. So what to expect from this class? You will learn to write effectively, read effectively and also review effectively because only by reviewing each other's work you will also learn about your own work. You will probably be confronted with some of the behavioral challenges that we all know. For example, avoidance, putting off the writing as long as possible, distraction, doing the laundry, making a coffee or starting to clean, feeling stuck, staring at the blank page. I hope that doesn't happen to any of you. And perfectionism, fiddling forever with a single paragraph, but not getting it done, basically. Fear of criticism, work is never good enough for sharing, or reluctance to revise, resisting to make suggested changes. So you might be confronted with them and some of the issues we can learn, we can train our skills to uh, work with them. This is up to you and your input to the class. So again, writing is a skill. You best learn by reading and practice. This is very important. This is not a theoretical only lecture, but you have to exercise the writing. The backward lecture I uh, recommend to you, you already saw two quotes by these two people in the that I mentioned to you before. Joshua Schimmel is an Arctic microbiologist and he also learned writing basically through his book. It's very interesting because in his book he also goes back to his early papers and criticizes his papers. So we all learn. It's a process of learning and skill training. And last, I would like to ask you not to distribute the material. As I've stated here, uh, please, please um, don't distribute, edit, record or so. If you need the material or would like to give it to somebody else, please contact us. Please provide constructive feedback for improvement. This is the first time we are doing these asynchronous lectures and we are taking the design of the class to, to a next level, including the Moodle exercises. So please contact us for constructive feedback. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in class.